Good morning, everyone. We'll give it another minute or two to let some others start joining in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, good morning, my name is Lainey Perot. I am a GPA with the recovery section here at the Division of Emergency Management. Um, we also have the recovery supervisor on here, Shay Schultz, and one of our admin assistants, Sammy Bonds. Uh, just so you guys kind of get familiar with our names if you ever need to reach out for some help. Um, at any time you have a question or I need to slow down, uh, please just unmute yourself and let me know. Uh, so I just went through welcoming instructions. We're going to go through downloading your project worksheet in Grants Portal and then go over submitting your application in Zoom Grants, the next steps after that, and then we'll have some time at the end for some questions and answers. So downloading your project worksheet, once you log into the Grants Portal system, um, to the left-hand side, you're going to have a My Organization tab. Um, you'll go ahead and click on projects after you click on uh, my organization. You'll search the PW you will be applying with. So each project will have its own project number, which we refer to as a project worksheet number. Um, just make sure that on the side where it says process step, it says obligated. Um, and then that's when we will go ahead, you will get an invitation from the recovery section to then go ahead and submit your application in Zoom grant. So to go in and look at the details of your project you'll click on the red magnifying glass to the left that will open the specific project details so that you can further resume your application once the project is open you're going to go ahead and click on reports which will be at the top right corner of your project on the screen in grants portal this will download a pdf that kind of looks like the example here which we'll also go over after a couple slides um, this is where you're going to find all of the information for your project that FEMA has obligated and approved. So submitting your application in Zoom grants, you will get an email from the recovery team with a link. Uh, the best way to get to this screen is if you log into your Zoom grants account first, then go back and click on this link is how we found that is the easiest way to do it. Um, and then it'll pop up with this bottom screen where you can then click apply and it'll start the application process for you. So this is the summary tab. This is where you'll fill out your appropriate information for your agency. Um, you will find all this top information, your project title, your number, and um, application title will be on that PDF that you just downloaded from Grants Portal. Um, the amount requested will be your total project amount listed on that project worksheet. And then you'll go ahead and fill out your applicant information, the first name, last name, your telephone, and the best email address to reach you. Um, then you're going to go down here for your organization information. Again, basic information filling in um, your EIN number, your websites if you have one, and best contact numbers. Summary tab continued. Uh, you'll continue to fill this part out with your chief financial officer or authorized official that will be um, signing this application for you and then any additional contacts that you guys would like listed. Um, please put the most recent and up to date just so we can make sure we're reaching out to the correct people. Then you'll move on to the public assistance grant application tab. This is where you'll enter you, your UEI number. Um, and then the documents requested, you do have to upload something. I know not a lot of people have some major payroll policies. As long as you have something in there explaining how you guys, how your procedures are, how you do your payroll, that is um, acceptable. We just have to have something in there 
to be able to refer back to when we're reviewing your project. The project worksheet tab, um, again, that PDF that you downloaded, that all the information will be on there. You'll fill out your project worksheet number, your project title, your applicant name for your agency, and then fields four and five are pretty easy. You can just copy and paste from your project worksheet and in there, um, just make sure everything is accurate and it makes sense before hitting submit. This will be your budget tab. Um, on that project worksheet, it will also have a budget listed for you. So you're just, and under item description, it's gonna be your category, which you have contract, materials, labor, equipment, fourth count labor, um, anything that was approved for your project will be in the item description. And then in the corresponding field, you'll put the amount that was approved for that category. And then this is just continued. If you have any specific items you want listed in there or donated resources, this is the section that you will add those items into. But if that does not apply to your project, please just leave it blank and move forward with the application. So to go over that PDF that you downloaded in Grants Portal, um, you'll have your general information, which shows your project number, uh, which is usually the six digit number, your project title, and then it'll go through your final scope. will give you everything that FEMA and the dates that they approved it in and the work that's gonna be completed and everything they excluded in there, all of it will be in your final scope, the damage description and dimensions. And then you have your budget area, which will again, list all the categories approved for your project and any total costs that were awarded for that. Um, on the side, you'll see completed or uncompleted. Completed means work completed. The project's done, uh, FEMA got the final cost from that. You're good to go to submit those project costs. Work to be completed will be work that is going to be completed, but FEMA still has their recommendations requirements in that final scope for the work that can be done in that category. Your required documents tab, this is where you'll upload that PDF we downloaded from Grants Portal, and then all of your invoices, contracts, any other documents that you need uploaded for this project in the required documents tab. Um, and just a fair warning, these will also be uploaded in your quarterly financial report. They will be separate, but we do need them in this uh, required document tab section as well. And then you'll go ahead when you're done and everything looks right, you'll submit your application for review. Um, and hit submit now and it'll come over to our side and then we will go ahead, review your project and then we will have you sign and have our chief sign. And then we'll get started on the reimbursement process. Um, the next step is again, once your application is submitted, it will be available for DEM to review an issue. You will receive notification via email when your application is ready for signature. Once your award is signed by DEM and your agency authorized representative, you will be able to submit your quarterly financial reports. Um, just as a reminder, please keep tracking all work and gathering related documentation to your project to ensure efficiency and accuracy when submitting the documents for review. Again, if you have any questions during this process or you need assistance, please reach out. We are more than happy to set up a Teams call or come see you guys and make sure we are all moving forward. Um, I will go ahead and open it up to any questions and then our contact information is here as well. Hi, Lainey, this is Donna. Hi. Hi, will the project numbers that you spoke about in your grants portal be the same number as FEMA issued to those projects? Yes, so that six digit number that's listed on that project number is actually how we refer to our grants. So that'll be same across the board for everybody. Whatever that number is, is how we will refer to it as well. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Deborah. I joined a little late, so I might have missed something. Um, yeah, no worries. I have a quick question about the quarterly on the quarterly financial statements. Is that our just our general quarterly financials or is that just pertaining to the projects? Uh, pertaining to the project, but that is like when you're asking for the reimbursement for the costs done in that quarter and all the work, that'll be your quarterly financial report. That'll be what you submit for us to review all that backup documentation and make sure everything's together before we reimburse the money. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. I hope that answered the question. Sorry. No, yeah, no, that was perfect. Any other questions? All right.
right, well, that is the end of today's training. Again, this was recorded. We will send it out with the slides following this meeting. Um, again, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are here to help you guys. I hope everyone has a great end of rest of your day and we'll uh, see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.